Time now for Rico Show. You met up with a few famous faces this weekend and found proof as well that rugby still has that something that can bind communities together. The iconic valleys of South Wales, they've known good times and bad, and they're famous for their sense of community. So when tragedy strikes, those involved often seek great strength and comfort from their friends and family. And if the victims played rugby, you'll often find there's a broader, extended family that are only too willing to lend support. And this is building up now to be a great day, but it's set against quite a tragic backlog. It's, it's come about from, through, the de through, uh, through the untimely deaths of two, or, two of our young players. They were both 19 years of age and they unfortunately got killed in a, in a tragic road accident uh, last October, or October the 17th, in the, in the early hours of the morning. Did the boys play for the club? Yes, my, uh, Michael Griffiths, uh, um, last season was his first season in senior rugby and uh, James Davis, he was a seconds player and he was a good uh, a stalwart of the second 15. And you got Nanty Moyle seconds taking on Ogmore Vale seconds. That's here, right. The showpiece event is your first 15 against the Chargeables 15. That's it, yes. How did that come about? The idea of it was to, to have a memorial match for the two lads and have one every year, but this is the first of those matches and uh, the, the people from the Welsh Chargeables 15, they've been excellent. The support that the, the whole Valley gave us over the last six months, you know, following the accident, has is, is, is been immense. Unless you can actually experience that kind of support, it's hard to explain. We've had six and a half months of sort of heartache. Today's about celebration, as far as I'm concerned. Let's go! So here they come, Nanty Moyle first 15 versus the Welsh Charitables. They say that form is temporary and class is permanent. We'll find out now, I think. Tell me about today, what do you think of it all? I think, I think it's absolutely fabulous, to be honest, but lovely cause, and uh, the boys are doing well, fair play to them. I don't know whether to be happy or to be sad, whatever, but... Uh, you know, to bring back memories and... Yeah, it does of course. Oh, God, I... Oh, well played. You did well to set you up for your try, didn't you? Lucky, wasn't he? <laughs> Very lucky. Lucky to get a pass, mate. You don't normally catch a ball, so you're right there, aren't we? Great opportunity to play against some uh, British Lions, Welsh internationals. Broad tails! Ooh. It looks like Nandy Moore taking it quite seriously. They, they are indeed, yeah, but I think I, th I think we're starting to wear them down a little bit, you know, a little so. bit of the old heads coming to, coming to the fore. He's got a man on the inside! Oh, he's going to go all the way! He's going to go all the way! Do you want to go to the TMO on that one, Paul? Got to have a look. Yeah. Got, to, got to have a look. <laughs> there was a stud. Look, look. Fresh stud. These chicks want to come take me. Back. Whenever you're out there, whenever you're tired, don't moan about it. There's two players who'd love to be on air today who can't be there. And we've got their names on their shirts, on the sleeves today. So they're playing with us in spirit. They're not on it today in body, but they're there with us. Here we go. Seconds out. Round two. Oh, a bit gentler this time. Did you enjoy that? It, uh, uh, it's getting a bit tasty there at one point. Uh, well, the first ten minutes were into enjoyable, but I suddenly realised they turned up one the proper game. Yeah. So that was a bit of a, a shock to the system. But uh, once it was settled down, it was all pretty good, you know. But uh, a bit feistier than I'd like, to be honest. Everybody's enjoyed themselves. The game was fantastic. Can't fault it. Michael and James are up there watching now, I can tell you now. And they would have both been proud. I know they would have. Oh. What a great idea. Great story as well. Very poignant. It was a celebration, though, uh, as they were saying. And... Uh, Interesting that Mark Taylor mentioned it was a bit feisty because one standout moment from that game uh, caught our eye. It took us through it, Kings. What do you make of it? Yeah, I did a little bit of analysis here of Mark Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> you can see Mark here. You wonder why Mark got a long face. Well, he knows what's coming here and he's just going to get slammed. I tell you, the fella's lucky he didn't do that to Mark a few years ago because Mark might have got up and thrown him over the cameraman, I think. Uh, he's lucky to get away with that cheap shot there. But uh, it's very interesting seeing all those old faces and identifying me and Rob going, oh, it's Mark. Morris, all these faces you see is fabulous. You're That's a scout team, you may be saying they played. Come back, tails still look good, Arwell look good. We've run the rule over a few of them, but uh, Arwell's still been playing recently, hasn't he? So uh, he's always got quality.